All right, guys, it is Puckett and Maven coming back at you. And Maven, we're watching a sniper video. What, what is this that you just sent me via Twitter? I, I dude, I don't know. I, I've seen everyone tweeting out. Nikki, I guess Nikki HD just made this uh, sniping video for Pomage. I see everyone going on about it. And I've never really watched. OK, I'm guilty. Guys, viewers, I apologize. I've never really watched sniping videos. I've never really understand the point of them, but I'm watching this and it's actually pretty darn cool. Can you explain the sniper video for Maven? Oh, oh Pomage is shutting it down. Chris, I'm having a lot of trouble hearing you, pal. Okay. There we go. Now there's your beautiful voice. It's back? Yeah, I, you're back. I, I just watched P Pomage kill everybody in the back of Hijacked. Uh, yeah, he, he's he's going off on this. Do you have it up on the stream right now? I do. You're sharing, you're sharing this with the chat? Oh, we are, we we are sharing this with the world. I mean, if we're waiting on TCM, we might as well be entertained by... I'm going to watch it through the stream view so I can watch it with the viewers. Yeah, you should do Even that. though I think a game just started. Yeah, right, we'll get into it once it officially starts. Keep in mind, guys, it'll be 3-3 when we jump it back into this action. Yo, this is beautiful. Yeah, it just looks really cool. Like, I, I don't even know like what game is even playing. I'm so unknowledgeable. Like That gun is so shiny. This is not any Call of Duty I've ever played before. Is this on PC? I'm pretty sure this is the Chinese Call of Duty. Oh, that explains. Like the, the lighting Duty effects Online. in the gun alone. I'm like, I don't know what he's playing right now. Oh my goodness, Raid is beautiful with mountains in the background. Pomage is so good. Yeah, I don't even know what he's doing. He's just like, quick scope, quick scope, quick scope. 42 people died. I don't even see the people he kills. Oh no, I didn't see one person there in that doorway. Jeez. It's far too dark for my old eyes. Yeah. I'm never going to become a popular YouTuber. <laughs> For yeah, sniping, must, at least. All right, it looks the, like uh... our game is actually up and running, though. Let's cut oh. out of this and go right back into the action. 3-3, three, three, the action picks up with Nameless on your screen. Bites going down in the middle of the map as Sharp is just trying to blow up as many barrels as possible. He's going to be cut down. And Wheat's down as well for Rise. So an even exchange, three up for both squads. And there's a big fight. Theory, the bomb carrier cleaned up. So is Nezla, last man standing's nameless. And this is a monstrous round out of Rise. They just charge right through TK. Now, did you, I'm sorry if you said it right when we started, but did we discuss whether it officially was 3-3 or what was the ruling? Pretty positive it's a 3-3. Oh, look, TCM gets dropped down. He says, you know what, boys? I'm back. I'm back. Goes 3-0 on a three streak. Completely controls the pace of that one as they're very, very aggressive. And uh, well, that's a way to leave your mark. I'm sure it's very frustrating for him dealing with the online issues right now. Making a, making a stand here. Let's watch the boy. The new addition to Rise, not having the best first night. Lots of internet issues so far, but a good round to give Rise the lead 4-3 overall. And we'll keep you reminded on that scoreboard as this continues. TCM being very sneaky, trying to get behind enemy lines. He's got to be careful with these boosts, though. Doesn't want to be heard. And, and he here comes should be. TCM. Oh, he's right behind two players. Can he get them both? No, he gets shots in one. Did he see the second player? He had to. Uh, oh. Coming in, he's going to lose that gunfight. He had a little bit of help, though. I think that was Wheats that's going to clean it up. All of a sudden, we're in a 1v1. I'm watching oh. Sharp right now. He was getting shot from behind. He should be relatively aware of that player, unless Chino was just randomly firing through the doorway. Oh, no. Sharp knows exactly where he was getting picked at. And uh, that was Chino, who's just sitting out in front of the windows. I like this attacking route from Chino. He knows Sharp is hidden inside, and he is just going to run to the top of the map. Might even execute a drop down through these side windows, looking for any movement. Doesn't see it. Now, Chino, he's got time. But he's running out of it. 20 seconds left. Sharp playing this so smart. Yeah, I think Sharp should have the perfect angle on him there. Nice job. That's the second 1v1, 1v1 where Sharp is just set up in a position. And now, granted, he's been, in, he's been in a nice spot where both players kind of have to make the play because he was on defense. But he's been pre-aimed in a corner, set up perfectly, just staring at a spot. Player comes right into his POV. You saw it earlier in that one-on-one. -on -one. Just good heads up play by Sharp. I was hoping Chino was going to jump through those side windows, but it's so dangerous. No need. And you can see uh, now we're tied up once again, Maeve. 4-4. Four, four. Who's your player to watch on the attacking side? Uh, I mean, if we're going to be going, let me see. I was going to say TCM is clearly not on the attacking side. Yeah, I'm going with Sharp. He just won the 1v1. Let's king kick things off with Big Papa Brandon. Nameless also on level three with that sniper rifle. And he is going to start things off. It's actually Sharp and Neslo. 
I told you. You asked who would be the man on offense. I said it'd be Sharp. He almost lined up two of them, only able to get one, though. He is on a three streak right now, though, Chris. They have a four versus two advantage. Now, we saw TK choke a four versus two earlier. Let's see if they can close this one out. Hit markers for Sharp. Sharp going to tar toss a nade forward. Not able to get him, though. That player is going to dip out. Was it Wheats and App last time yep. that were in this position and clutched up? And not at the see this time around. Wheats no, is going to have no. his hands full. <laughs> Wheats now lower mid map. You see, I think it was Nameless you saw the Kai Vision third story. Yeah, this is done. This, Nameless yeah, got him. Uh -oh. 1v3. I don't know how. Oh, Nameless should have had him there. twice, like a, and Wheats will get one. Arkham Knight. <laughs> he tried. Bad Batman up there. I, I like it. Uh, good, good positioning, good idea, bad execution, but TK gets the round. And now they are on game point, sitting at five to four. And it's sharp again in your round ending kill cam. He's opening things up after that first death, four straight kills. Excellent job by Sharp. And they are one round away from closing this one out. Uh, if you are just tuning in again, we had a reset at three, three. Now on offense, I mean, I'd like to go back to TCM just because he had their last offensive round. That three man never, okay, That's that was a terrible possible. idea. Now, he dropped out about three seconds into the round. I, I think TK, last time this stuff happened, just uh, played the round out in case the, the referee ruled that it would be a forfeit. So we'll find out what's going to happen here. Chino, though, able to pick up two. Gives them, actually, the lead. Three on two situation in favor of Rise. And both teams are going to play this one out to the fullest. Theory's going to answer back, getting chased down. It's now all up to Neslo in a one on two. That should be a 1v1. Yep, nice shot there. Able to zip him up. He's got one player left by the beat bomb site. Oh, and he, he should catch the catch Oh, no, the timing there. He's checked everything. Is he planting, though? As soon as he tries to plant this, he should be caught. And he did. Oh, no, and that's right when he dropped down. He should be directly behind him, though. Neslo able to clutch up. Will get the defuse. And I believe that will be game point, though. But depends on the ruling here. Yeah, we'll find out what's going to happen here. I have a feeling this one is going to be done. And TK looks to be primed to move on to game number three with a 2-0 advantage in the best of five. We'll update you guys after another short break. We'll stay on here for a second. Yeah, game's being ended by the players. So. Okay. TK, looking at their search game, really impressed by Sharp. I wrote it down. He had a 1v2 clutch in round six, uh, 1v2 clutch in round eight as well. Both of those to kind of tie the game up for his team. They never, He never let yeah. TK really drop behind Rise in this but series. The most, the most interesting storyline from this thus far, um, for anyone watching, if you saw the picks at the beginning of the day, it was Benson, myself, and Mr. X. We, we all pick Rise. There was one individual that picked TK. I find it a little bit shady that a player from Rise keeps having internet issues here with this series. I have friends in high places, Maven. Yes, and I would very, very say low, I blame Chris Puckett. Crappy, moldy places. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, guys, uh, we apologize for the issues. This is one of the risks of playing online, um, and and we've had to deal with it in the past. Lots of players finding ways to prevent these issues from happening. TCM doesn't seem to have that figured out. We're going to commercial break. Hopefully, he's able to get it sorted during the commercial. When we come back, though, uplink game number three coming your way.
Welcome back, guys. You are joining TK versus Rise. This is game number three, and I suggested something to Rise. It seems they've listened. They picked up a new fourth. Jaysano was added as a sub last night for TCM, and it looks like Jaysano is going to have to be called up to the starting lineup again this evening. TCM having multiple internet connection issues. TK, kind of fortunate that TCM is having all these issues. They're up 2-0, and the games have even been close despite uh, losing a man there at times. Yeah, this is the right choice uh, if you want to give yourself a chance to win. I mean, it gets to a point you want to give them a couple times uh, lagging out, but when it gets to be the, the fifth, sixth time happening every game here, uh, time to make a change. So they will bring in the sub. Now, tough spot for him as he's probably not all that warmed up. Got to hop in here mid-series against a hot CK team right now, at least uh, in this series. But... Taking a look at 2-0 lead right now for Rise. Chino off to a hot start as he started 5-2. Jaysano on your screen. Going to be running the sub for this squad, and he is going to be trying to make the way with the drone through the alley. He's got a teammate leading the charge. That's a big flank coming in from Chino. And you're going to see Jaysano with at least a one-point opportunity here. Possibly two if his teammates can stay alive. Everyone drops, though, and he doesn't get the toss-off. Missed opportunity as Chino's the last man standing. You see it's all TK on that side of the map. Nameless going to be working this towards school. And he's going to be able to get in school pretty safely. He has, I think it was Theory leading the way, but he dropped pretty much immediately as I say that. He's got a little bit of help mid-street at Sharp that should be able to assist him. He flies into school. Not able... No, he did trade that, so he was able to pick up... Apathy and get forward. The question is, does he get points? And oh. he throws that a little high, a little left, and that's going to lead to a reset for Weiss. If you're sharp, you got to sink that. Yeah, that's got to be a little bit frustrating for TK. He fought so hard to get to that side of the map. Sharp looked like he had a, a clean break. Stop short. Wheat with, Wheat's with a big toss out as well. So keep that in mind, as it's been a good defensive stand so far from each squad. In the last minute, who is going to take the lead with the drone next? It looks like Theory, first one to put his hands on it. And we'll follow Theory here. He's going to be into school again. You saw him try to make moves. It was Sharp that ended up with it in his hands. Now, can he get the one-pointer? He's going to get pushed immediately over Humvee. They just fly at him. They take control. It's going to be Jay Sano trying to get that alley. He takes a couple shots before that player will get taken out. He should at least there have a one-point toss here. And it is good. A couple players there trying to go for the interception. Miss it by just an inch. Rise playing for him. The more difficult side historically. Already up 3-0. And they are continuing to apply pressure inside of TK's base. You look at the mini-map and TK spawning up in the garage. Kind of very far away from this uplink. That was a massive kill though by Nameless to keep Drone out of harm's way. Going to pass it up. Gets stuck on the ambulance. Has to get in himself, and this could be costly. You see Wheats trying to play for that drone while Jay Sano and App are getting back in position. Yeah, that did not turn out to be an effective pass at all. Uh, Neslo, though, able to eventually get it. He gets pushed into school. Going to drop it as he felt some pressure coming from backside school. Wisely done. Did he not see Jay Sano cross? Is, is Neslo blind? Is he, he needs glasses on. He might not be looking sometimes. I don't know. That player Jay dashed right across the screen. I thought he was waiting for that exact play, but... Not able to see him there. He's eventually going to be taken out. Apathy is now going to have your drone. He's going to be taking it back alley. A couple players from TK are going to be there trying to cut him off. But he's got a little bit of help. That's Wheat's able to so take the first one. He just says, screw it. Ignores the player in front. Goes for the one point toss. Nice job there by Apathy. Yeah, so many times you would expect, you know, the, the ball carrier to wait for someone to go in front of him and clear out the way. Apathy just went charging through. And Sharp tried to chase him down, but he had enough armor to survive the first few bullets. Great cover from his teammates. Rises up 4-0. It's only been four minutes and 10 seconds. And Jay Sano, credit to him, man, coming in cold. 9-9 nine and nine with the score. And he's starting to play some nice defense inside the school, keeping everyone out. There's a nasty string of three in a row. And that's that's what's tough, too. Like, is it? it's impressive what Jay Sano's doing. Obviously, you have to hop in mid-series. But also, think about the mental place you're in if you're TK. You know, you have... If you're Rise, you're frustrated. If you're TK, you're thinking, oh, we won game one, they're down a guy, he keeps lagging out. We win game two, he keeps lagging out. You know, you're probably thinking, this series is over, we're going to go into game three, he's been lagging out, we're going to close it. But now they bring in their sub, you kind of have to shift your mindset entirely right now if you're TK. Uh, you did just see two points come in, first one from Theory, second one from Theory as well. He's going to get your two one-pointers. Theory, negative six though, overall KD. 
It was one of my concerns. Will he be able to keep up in the slaying game? So far, he's been the only one on TK really falling behind. On the other side, you see the star slayer, Wheats, 16 and 11, and you know he's not hosting. He was the only player banned from hosting in this matchup by TK. But here we go. Side number two, two-point advantage. But the, the big big thing you mentioned, eyes. Sorry, TK did have the strong side to kick things off. So this is going to be a difficult battle. You saw them come alive a little bit at the end of the match. Can they carry it into the second half? First grab is going to be made by Jay Sano. Two already down for TK. Wheats almost picked up a third. Neslo is down on Main Street, so they could wrap it out. Spawner coming from back green. It looks like they're going to try and force it through. Jaysana waiting for some extra armor. The teammate's going to charge through. Here comes the push. Will they be able to stop it? Chino causing problems. Shooting nameless from the side. And then Jaysano gets the and one on Neslo. Looking for a second. He's going to clean up Neslo and Theory. And this is going to open the doors for another play. All they need is one more kill. It looks like Apathy got it, but his teammates do fall on the stairs. A bit of a stalemate about to occur. We'll see who can get control here next. They're up for Jaysano. Saw him grab that drone, take it over back wall. Not able to even get hit markers there with a bit of his clip, but trying to apply pressure best he can. The drone should be spawning in about five seconds now, but with four minutes left, you have plenty of time if you're TK. Theory's got to get rolling a bit. I know he's had the drone in his hand a good bit as he has their only points, but 818, got to come alive to some degree. We're now going to see Nezla, though, grabbing the drum, going to be pushing it through garage, wrapping. Okay, he's just going in circles. Yeah, he's just trying to buy time, confuse his <laughs> opponents a little bit. Now he's got the push, though. Three teammates all in front of him. This is at least a one-point play if they do it correctly. Could be a two. Just saw his cover on the left go down, though. Nezla should let go of this pretty quick, and he's getting greedy here. This could come back to haunt him, or it could be a hero safe toss. Smart play by Neslo in a tricky situation. Yeah, he gets the one. You know, honestly, he was about full armor. I wonder if he might have been able to fly in there for two. It would have been tough, though. I think he made the right decision there going for one. They're only down three. They've got the drone in hand again. It's going to be nameless. 20 and 19 right now. He's got a little cover midstream, but that guy that pokes garage window able to take him out. It'll now go to Neslo. Neslo tries to get forward for the melee. He's going to drop, though. Theory's now got his hands cut out for him midstream. And now you got Nameless picking up the drone once again. They've been very objective focused and Nameless goes for the clear. So looks like TK just looking for a little bit of a breather. Try and reset, get all four up and reestablish control in the middle of the map. Apathy though, patrolling this drone spawn and he is going hunting inside the garage. Teamwork though coming through from TK. Theory cut him down before getting dropped on his own. Sharp on your screen now. Looking to gain some uh, positioning here in school before his team makes the push. Well, sharp pushing from school over to Garage Saw play for just a second. Going to fly at him. He uh -oh. picks up the drone, though. He's going to win that battle. He gets the melee. Now they're going to be pushing here Garage Ramp. They have a couple players to beat, but he's got two players to help as well. The nades, though, coming in from Apathy. Does so much damage. Gets an assist. Gets a kill. Shuts down the push from Rise. Oh and the melee comes in from Wheat, so they've cleaned that up. Nice defensive stand there from Rise. I thought Nameless is gonna just go full-blown superhero mode right there. Picked up two, was going for the third melee kill. Here comes the drone shot though, and that one is gonna connect sharp. Makes it a one possession game. Still lots of time left, a minute 40 still to go. It's impressive they turned that into a point because their, their first attack just got absolutely shut down. Amazing, they're still able to get points out of that. Chino is going to be going over wall into mid street. He's got one player ahead of him trying to cover shots and coming in from the back. Nice job, though, able to put through the one pointer. Rai is going to take a 7 4 advantage now. 80 seconds left to go. The drone going to go straight, I think, Ooh, to Theory, but he gets dropped it. there by Jaysano. Did he get a toss? In yeah. He did get a toss, so what a quick counter there. Great job. Yeah, Theory, you know, he, he knows his toss. His name was going to try one of his own. Does he get the bounce? And it looks like his bounce is going to fall short and to the left. So Theory now going for the cutoff, and that drone is just going to get tossed on top of the roof until this game is over. TK really has to keep Rise away from the drone. They got to get to it first, and they have 50 seconds left to score twice with tosses, but most likely you're going to see a dunk required here as it's all coming down to the wire. Chino gets it. Chino's going to reset it. Rise in a position now where they can just play that reset game. They still have a pretty good presence around the Atlas. 
Sharp, though, able to get one. Nezzo gets one as well. This is their opportunity. Drone popping in two seconds. They've got a player there to snag it. That's going to be Theory. Theory should be able to get it, but two players push. Great job there. But three down. Chino, the only one left. They're going to be able to get forward. Nano is going to toss it in for the pass. I think it was Sharp at home. And there's the dunk. Tie game. Ten seconds left. What a great execution there by TK in the final seconds. Team Caliber, absolutely ridiculous. Theory with the melee. I thought he had time for one more toss. It's not going to happen. We're going to overtime. That was incredible stuff. Sharp, brave enough to push through Garage, able to clear out the weight. Name was so clutching up. Gets the satellite to him, and you see with 11 seconds left, they tie things up, forcing overtime. TK still on match point. Keep that in mind. Rise fighting for their lives here in the best of five. Yeah, I thought they were totally screwed because I, I went on with Theory, who was the guy from TK waiting to get the drone. You saw two Rise players slide him immediately. I thought they were going to kill him and get the reset. But props to the rest of TK as they shut it down. Great toss from Nameless forward to Sharp, and they tie it up. But here we are in overtime. Favored side going to be to TK first. Let's see if they can get points on the board in a hurry. They're going to actually have two down. They get three down right off the break. Theory last alive. He's at least able to get one, but that's after the drone gets four. Jaysano has it in his hands. Does he go for the dunk? No, he goes for one. He gets that in. 19 seconds is the time to beat. Nice stuff from Jaysano. The pickup filling in well as a substitute tonight. 26-23, four uplinks leading the team. So far, he has been a huge contributing factor. Also, look at those kills from Chino. He's just been clearing the way for Rise. But now the pressure is on TK. They got some crucial kills, and that melee from Apathy might seal the deal. It's going to, and Apathy is just adding insult to injury. We're going to a game four, Maeve. And that was a great job by Rise. I mean, you get, you get punished there by TK in the final seconds. They're able to tie it up there. You think you might have some lingering thoughts they're going into overtime but they score in what 19 seconds then they shut it down good job by them to continue the series and now i mean this is anyone's game rise was like you said they kept things close in the s and d the hard point honestly despite the fact that the three four stayed close for quite a while obviously they pulled away over time it's kind of hard not to right but this one uh potentially can go the distance now if they have a fourth figured out we're ready for a game four it's coming up on the other side of the commercial break the good news for you rise fans out there as well as benson maven and mr x all who picked rise in this series rise has got host coming up next so they could easily right. force a second search and destroy we'll find out if they can do it after this